Hello and welcome back to MyMetaverseMinute.com, your place for the latest news, views and opinions from the Metaverse. Now today's episode is brought to you by Cloud Wars Expo, running June 28th to 30th at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. I will be there leading tracks and sessions alongside Bob Evans, founder of Cloud Wars, and the rest of my Acceleration Economy analyst colleagues. You can go to CloudWarsExpo.com to learn more and join me there. Join thousands of CXOs June 28th to 30th in San Francisco, California at Cloud Wars Expo as we explore a new metric called the Time to Dazzle, exclusively focused on how long it takes to dazzle customers with new business models that are enabled by the cloud, empowered by AI, and optimized with human ingenuity. Register today at cloudwarsexpo.com and join a movement to make dazzling customers the metric that matters. In today's episode, I want to look at the current state of um, finances for some of the biggest decentralized metaverse platforms. So the, re the most recent news is that Decentraland, Axie Infinity and Sandbox are actually falling short in terms of their user base. Markets expected them to have far more users than they currently do. And this has been reflected in a massive drop um, and not much of an increase in the price of their crypto tokens, the tokens that support these games. Now, there's been comparisons made to uh, this drop being related to the fact that actually the gameplay within of these uh, platforms, because essentially they are games right now, um, although there are lots of other use cases attached to them, they are games, it's, it's, far, it's far less advanced than other non-blockchain based um, gaming platforms and this is thought to be one of the reasons that the actually the uptake has been quite slow. Now this got me thinking first of all I don't think this is anything massively to worry about we've talked about how come in the past we've talked about how companies are investing huge amounts of money and they know that eventually there will be a return on these blockchain investments so I'm not sure that from an investment criteria I'm not sure there's a huge amount to worry about. What I do think is very interesting is it opens up um, the opportunities for designers, for graphic designers and developers, they could well be the most important people in the metaverse right now. Because the only way the metaverse is going to work is if we, uh, we, the collective we, encourage people to join in and get on board with metaverse platforms. And if they're put off by the fact that the game, that the gameplay, that the graphics, that the interactions aren't fluid. If that's putting people off, then graphic designers and developers and animators, these creatives, these creative industries, perhaps way more than from than the financiers and the accountants and the people working within um, developing funds for these platforms, perhaps actually we should be looking at the creatives to boost the metaverse economy. And in fact, if it is in fact the um, the creatives that we're looking to in order to create more um, more more um, <clears throat> opportunities for these metaverse platforms, then perhaps what you pay these people, what you pay these professions, is going to go up, and they could be the real winners in the metaverse. It remains to be seen, but from this perspective, I think it's a real strong contender. Till next time, stay tuned and stay curious. Mm -hmm.